Okay, so in this video, we'll be doing sums about high and low calorific values. So this is our topic. So before we dive straight into the numericals, you need to know that there are two types of calorific value, two types. First type is high or gross calorific value. Okay, and the second type is low or net calorific value. These can be abbreviated as HCV or GCV and this can be LCV or NCV. Okay, so these are the definitions of HCV and LCV. So here we have HCV may be defined as the total amount of heat produced when one unit of fuel, the important keyword is one unit of fuel is burned completely and the products are allowed to cool to 16 degrees Celsius or 60 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, HCV may be defined as the total amount of heat, the total amount of heat produced when one unit of fuel, one unit of fuel is burned completely, pula jala diya. Or jo baki ka bachao materials and other products are allowed to cool to 16 degrees Celsius or uska conversion Fahrenheit, 60 degree Fahrenheit. Okay. So LCV has a very similar definition. So LCV is the amount of heat produced, same start, the, uh, is the amount of heat produced when one unit of fuel. Similar. Same actually. One unit of fuel is burned completely. It's maybe jaladiya tha. It's burned completely and the products are allowed to escape. Products are allowed to escape. Difference is, is my products were let to cool down to 16 degrees Celsius or 60 degree Fahrenheit, but is my the products are allowed to escape. So both may, dono may, um, the fuel is burned completely, one unit of fuel is burned completely, but in HCV the products are cooled to 16 degree Celsius or 60 degree Fahrenheit, but in LCV the products are allowed to escape. Now, if we go to the numericals, there are three formulas. Actually, we'll start with three basic things that we need to solve numericals of HCV and LCV. So the first thing, please ignore the screen, I'm sorry, children, children. Okay, so the first thing we need to solve, our uh, first thing that we need to solve these numericals is the formula for LCV, the formula for HCV and the formula for loss of water formed. Okay, we can combine all these three terms in one formula, which will be LCV equals to HCV minus loss of water form. Okay, if these three formulas are covered, these three terms are combined, we can write them in this one formula. But now we need to look at the formulas individually. Okay, so uh, first we'll find out what is the formula for loss of water form. So loss of water form is basically 9 into percentage of hydrogen or mass of hydrogen into latent heat of steam, latent heat of steam. Now if you know latent heat of steam is the constant which is always 587 calories per gram. Okay, so now the formula for loss of water form is clear. 9 into percentage of hydrogen given in the question into latent heat of steam, which is 587 calories per gram. Now, the formula for HCV is given by Dulong, Dulong formula. So, the Dulong formula gives us the formula for HCV. So, according to the Dulong's formula, HCV is 1 by 100 the whole into 8080C plus 34500 into H minus 0 by 8 plus 2240S. Okay, and the unit for this will be cal per, uh, calories per gram. Okay, so what is C? C is percentage carbon. Okay, H is percentage hydrogen. And S is 
percentage itself. Now these values will be given in the question or you will be asked to find them. But the formula remains the same which is 1 upon 100 the whole into 8080 percentage of carbon plus 3450 the whole, uh, into h minus 0 by 8 plus 2240 s. Okay. Uh, if you were to combine this thing along with the loss of water formed, so the final equation of LCV will be HCV, HCV minus now this nine over here will get divided will get multiplied by one in one divided by hundred, which will be zero point zero nine into H into five eighty seven, which is the latent heat of water, uh, or latent heat of steam divided uh, which the unit for which will be cal per gram so our form final formula for lcv is this now this can also be called ncv and this can also be called gcv and the rest of the formula continues to be the same with the same units so don't get confused if the question asks for net calorific value and gross calorific value or lcv or hcv Okay, so now we'll be solving numericals based on this. Okay. So this is the question. Problem one asks for, sorry, problem one asks for calculate the GCV. GCV is also HCV and NCV, which is also called LCV. So calculate GCV and NCV of coal for which the composition given is carbon is 85%, hydrogen is 8%, sulfur is 1%. Nitrogen is 2% and ash is 4% and latent heat of steam in the sum is given which is 57 cal per gram calorie per gram but you need to remember this because it might not be given okay which is 587 calories per gram so we'll be finding HCV first so the uh, step one would be to find HCV and then we can simply find LCV okay HCV in this sum is GCV and over here it is NCV. Okay. So let's first find HCV. I'll keep calling it HCV because it is easier to remember like high calorific value and low calorific value. So the formula for HCV was 1 by 100. Okay. 8080C plus 34500 the whole into H minus 0 by 8 plus uh, 2 240s and the answer will be in calories per grams so we have done this formula over here before uh, this is the formula 1 by 108080c plus 3450 3450h um, minus 0 by 8 2240s so the formula is right we can proceed with the sum so this will be 8080 is a number it will be constant uh, the carbon percentage is given it is into 85 plus over here we have 3450 which is again part of the numerical H is 8% 8 minus 0 by 8 plus 2240 S is 1% so we will simply multiply by 1 and this still remains the same okay so now I'll put this whole equation on the calculator itself so so I've got the whole equation on the calculator, which is, if you were to compare 1 upon 100, 8080 into 85 plus 3450, 8 minus 0 by 8, 2240 into 1. So the answer will be 428252, which we can simply write as 9650.4. This is our HCV. Okay, this is the value for HCV slash you can either call it GCV. Okay, now we have to find the NCV or we can call it LCV, LCV or NCV, which will be as you remember the formula HCV minus 0 0.09 into H into 587. 587 is the latent heat of steam okay so here we simply put in the values that is 9650.4 minus 0 0.09 percentage of hydrogen was 8 over here it's 8 so 8 
into 587. I'll put this upon the calculator too. So 96, it is 9650.4 minus 0 0.09 into 8 into 587. The answer that we get is 9227.76. You could round this off to 9227.8 cal per gram. This is the final answer. You can compare it to the question where the final answer is 9227.8. Here we have 9227.8. This is correct. We can move on to the second problem. Okay, before we go on to the second problem, the one question that will be in your mind is why nitrogen ash are given then? Uh, these were completely useless, I will say, because they are not needed. They are just additional values for composition of coal. They are just to represent the, represent the composition of the coal and they will not be needed to find HCV or... So, if we solve this problem, then it will be... First, we find... HCV. HCV by now we know the formula 1 upon 100 8080C plus 34500H minus 0 by 8 plus 2240S and the answer will be in calculatory program. So 1 upon 100 8080 into 88 which is 88% of carbon plus 34500H is H is 6% sorry not 8 H is 6% minus 0 divided by 8 plus 2240 into 2 so if we were to solve this so the answer to this that we got on a calculator was 9225.2 so we simply write 9225.2 5.2 calorie per gram sorry it looks like whole but calorie per gram so that is our hcv now we can move ahead and find the value of lcv so the formula for lcv that we know is uh hcv minus 0 0.09 into hydrogen into 587 uh, again what is 587 587 is the latent heat of steam you should you should remember this you should remember this so hcv value we have 9225.2 minus 0 0.09 into h is 6 into 587 we again simply put the values in our calculator which is 922 so the answer to which i got was um nine uh eight nine zero eight dot two two so the final answer is eight nine zero eight dot two two calorie per gram this is our final answer for this question so that is the second problem solved so this is our third and the final problem so problem three says that the coal composition is Carbon is 90%, oxygen is 3%, sulfur is 0.5%, nitrogen is 0.5% and yet again ash is 1%. We know that uh, nitrogen and ash are pretty much useless so we will skip them altogether. And here we have been given the value of NCV already. But the value of H is missing. We have to find H percentage and HCV. Okay, so the only variable that we have missing is H. So what we can do is, we can find HCV, okay, which is 1 upon 100, 8080C plus 34500H minus, that is O upon 8, uh, yes, that is O, not 0, 2240S. We used to take this O as 0 because there was no prior value of oxygen given to us before. So now that we have the value of oxygen, we'll take this as 3. So if you were to fill in the values, we will have 8080 into 90 plus 
h minus 3 divided by 8 and plus 2240 into 0 0.5. Yes, once we have this done, uh, 8080 into, I'll simply do this. So the value which we'll get here is, so the value that we obtained by 8080 into 90 and 2240 into 0 0.5 is 728320 plus 34500 h minus 3 divided by 8. We can let, let this be as it is. So now we can simply substitute the whole thing into the formula for LCV slash uh, NCV which is HCV minus 0 0.09 into H into 587 587 is the latent heat of steam and which is we can substitute this whole thing instead of X uh, HCV which is 1 upon 100 Seven two eight two three two zero plus three four five zero zero H minus three divided by eight. Um, this whole thing minus zero point zero nine into H into five eighty seven, which is equal to the value of NCV, which is eight four nine zero point five. Now, if you were to find the value of H by using the calculator. The final answer that you will you will end up with is okay. So I've written uh, I've typed down the whole equation on the calculator. I've replaced the value of h with a variable a. Now, if you were to solve this, the value of a shows is 4.57. Now, the value of h that we obtain is 4.57. We can simply replace the value of h over here to find HCV. So HCV equals to 1 upon 100, 728320 plus 345 double 0, 4.57 minus 3 divided by 8, that is 0 0.375. And if we solve this whole thing up, once we have solved this whole thing up, the answer that we get is, um, Answer is 8730.475 cal per gram of HCV, which is also called GCV. So, with this, we are done with the problem. I'll do a quick recap. What we did was we took the formula for HCV, we replaced all the values except for H because we didn't have that. Then we put the value of HCV in the formula of LCV. We have been given the value of LCV slash NCV, that is NCV, which is 8490.5. We simply write 8490.5 and we have our H as it is. And then we substitute and find the value of H. Now that we have done that, we can simply replace or substitute the value of H that we just found to be 4.57% in this equation of HCV. And we have the value of HCV also. So with this, we are done with HCV and LCV. The same notes have been attached in a link down below. You can check them out if you want. Thank you.